Welcome to the chapter coordination. Central nervous system CNS. Central nervous system comprises brain and spinal cord. It is the major control network for the body's function and abilities. It coordinates all the neural functions. Let us learn in detail about the functions of brain and spinal cord. First, let us learn about the brain and its parts. Brain When compared to all the other animals, human brain is the largest in size. Human brain is located inside the hard bony-like structure called cranium. This cranium is covered by three layers called meninges. The three layers are dura matter, arachnoid matter, pia matter. These meninges are continuous and cover the entire spinal cord. The space between the inner layers is filled with a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. This fluid protects the brain against shocks or jerks along with the help of meninges and cranium. The brain controls all the activities of a person. It is faster and powerful than the computer. Brain controls our muscle movements, the secretions of our glands, even our breathing and internal temperature. Each and every thought, feeling and plan is developed by our brain. Every event in our life is recorded by the neurons of the brain. Generally, the weight of a human brain in adults is approximately 1300 grams to 1400 grams, while the weight of a newborn baby's brain is 350 grams to 400 grams. The weight of human brain is approximately 2% of the total weight of human. Gray matter Gray matter is formed by the combination of nerve cell bodies with the capillaries. It is usually present on the periphery. White matter White matter is formed by the myelinated axons or those covered by fatty sheets. It is present towards the center. This is because of the presence of small area from where the myelinated axons leave the brain. The functioning of brain was known around 2000 years back by Greek physiologists. Brain is divided into three sections. For brain, it constitutes cerebrum diencephalon. Midbrain, it constitutes optic lobes. Hindbrain, it constitutes cerebellum medulla oblongata. Let us learn about the functions of these three sections of brain in 